Hey guys, Tate here, and welcome to another Call of Duty 2014 video for you today. Now, let me first just start off by apologising quickly about the kind of lack of consistency of uploads, I guess. Um, kind of just been taking a step back from YouTube for the last week or so because I've got a few things I needed to sort out um, with the work that I was doing and stuff. So yeah, uh, but the good news is I actually finished uni in two weeks ish. So after that, I've got like four or five months of pretty much nothing. Got a few things planned for that time, um, but mostly I'll be pretty much pouring a lot more time into YouTube and making pretty much daily videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, got a lot of things planned for that. So please stay tuned for that. It's just a couple of weeks away, and uh, yeah, we'll be good. But in this video, of course, I wanted to talk about the next Call of Duty mm -hmm. and um, quite a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to spread it over a few different videos, probably going to be doing one a week, probably every Wednesday because today's a Wednesday, why not? Um, but yeah, going to be talking about what they should do in the next Call of Duty to make it better than Call of Duty Ghosts in particular and Modern Warfare 3, which was Sledgehammer's previous Call of Duty because that wasn't exactly um, amazing, I guess. Um, but today we're going to start off with the maps and the map sizes because I saw an article earlier today, um, I'll link it in the description down below, and it basically said in it that um, in their opinion the next Call of Duty maps should be big, as in like battlefield size big or, or pushing battlefield size big, you know, maybe not quite as big. And I read this and I was like, I could not disagree more. I literally don't know what game mm. they've been playing but it is not the Call of Duty that I want to be playing because that for me, um, the, the bigger maps was something that they tried in Call of Duty Ghosts um, in the first set of maps that they released with the game. Um, as you can see with the DLC, the maps have got a lot smaller and a lot more fun. Therefore, it doesn't take a genius to work out that at least on recent evidence, um, the smaller maps are the better, more enjoyable, more action-packed maps. Now, of course, when you go back to the previous games, such as Modern Warfare 2, there was some, they, Modern Warfare 2 was my favourite game for maps. You know, let me just, you know, I'm not saying the gameplay or anything, or the noob tubes, I'm saying the maps were my favourite in Modern Warfare 2, I think. Um, things are getting maps like Favela, High Rise, Rust, there was just some really, really good feeling maps, and, uh, I don't know whether that's nostalgia or what, but I just felt like the mix of maps was really good. They were typically smaller than they are in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, and more action-packed, more fun, and just better all-round entertainment. They are the kind of sized maps and style of maps that I would like to see coming back in the next Call of Duty. Plus, you know, you don't want Call of Duty trying to tread on Battlefield's toes. They're two very separate, different kinds of game. Battlefield's very realistic, very war simulatory, you know. If you wanted to pretend you were in a war, you would probably play Battlefield because, let's face it, you don't run around with snipers quickscoping people in real life. You don't have over-exaggerated perks to yourself in real battle. Call of Duty is more fun. It's a sensationalised twist on reality, you know. Everything that they do in Call of Duty is blown kind of a bit out of proportion. It's sensationalised, as I've said. It's kind of bigger and better in the interest of making the game fun and enjoyable for, for the masses of players. And that is what I love about Call of Duty. You don't want to make the maps bigger just to make it more realistic because it kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit. And that's um, what Battlefield has done. You don't want to be taking bigger maps to make it like Battlefield. It doesn't make sense. Call of Duty's got its own feel, its own kind of like genre to the game. That's why it has thrived so much in the previous years. You don't want it trying to be something that it's not. Let's try and take it back to what made Call of Duty what was such a good, amazing game back in, in COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 in some degrees. Those, for me, were the funnest games, and I know a lot of you guys maybe haven't even played those games because I'm, they're like ancient games now. They're like five, six years in the past. But if you want good games to play, I'd, I'd recommend COD 4, you know. Black Ops 1 was a lot of fun too. So I guess the bottom line for me is don't make the maps bigger. Make them smaller a little bit, you know, keep the variety in there, don't make them all small, keep the variety, maybe have a playlist with a couple of bigger sized maps for people who want to play them, but don't make them bigger because unless you're going to put more players in it, then it's just not Call of Duty. Anyway, put your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll be looking for two key words in there, I'll be looking for either bigger or smaller. Now they are in relation to the Call of Duty Ghost maps, so do you want the maps to be bigger or smaller than Call of Duty Ghosts, 
Put your thoughts in the comment section down below. Any other thoughts you put, whack them in there as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a quick like. It's really, really appreciated. It shows me you support the channel and like the video. Subscribe for loads more Call of Duty news and information. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Ciao.